Well, welcome back. 612, the weather ball is blinking bright. We got more rain to get to. The view brought to you by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. Strong cold front just to the south, and that's uh, the focus for a couple thunderstorms in northern Ohio. Nothing like what we saw late last night. Howard City, though, to Lakeview and Montcalm County. We continue to track some light rain. Also, a little bit of light rain on the panhandle of Muskegon County, but that's about it. This is the bigger story. Areas of fog in Muskegon where it's 58. There's the Fricano's Tower camera. Time lapse from the Stephen Wessling Observatory in Fremont. Uh, yeah, we're waking up to fog there as well. So some of those low-lying fog-prone areas are a little foggy right now. Visibility down as low as a quarter mile in the Muskegon area. So uh, temperature-wise, uh, this really highlights that strong cold front, which is just to our south. Uh, big range from uh, across the area. 70 in Benton Harbor. It's 53 in Big Rapids, and unfortunately, we're kind of stuck in this weather pattern with uh, average to cooler than average conditions that will likely hang on until at least the second week or so of June. So a little light rain moving out around midday today. Whatever precipitation we do see in the next few hours is going to be very light. There's the front, and that's going to be the focus for strong and severe thunderstorms southeast and then southwest of lower Michigan tonight, and then that moves into lower Michigan. It's going to weaken, though, and move in early Wednesday morning. Main threats are going to be from extremely heavy rain and from some lightning, but severe weather looks unlikely. Here's the Storm Prediction Center's thoughts, and they've had a pretty good handle on severe weather the last several days. Severe weather chances go up significantly across Pennsylvania and then into parts of Illinois in Iowa. We're in that marginal risk area along and south of I-96. So ultimately, uh, large hail and damaging winds are unlikely with most of the thunderstorms. Waves as high as two to four feet on the Big Lake. Water temperatures generally in the 40s and 50s. Your 13 on target forecast. So showers moving out around mid morning will dry out this afternoon. Another round of rain and maybe a rumble or two of thunder late tonight and early Wednesday. A few showers on Thursday, dry on Friday and then more rain Saturday. High temperatures only in the low 70s.